Hey everyone, so today we are going to be taking a look at the Adventure Sworn Wayfarer in the nice sheath supplied by Adventure Sworn and a matching fire steel. So let's take a look at the sheath first. So I'm going to remove the knife out of here. It's a very deep carry. Knife. Fire steel. Okay. Sheath is excellent. Now, I picked this up used, so there's kind of like a bit of a scuff up here in the leather. I'm going to assume that that wasn't there when you got it. But this sheath is finished beautifully. Everything's rounded off. Everything's just absolutely gorgeous on this. The stitching is spot on. Everything looks like it's glued very well. Uh, the only thing I see is a little bit of excess glue right there. That's the only thing I see on the sheath. Um, Excellent, excellent value. I actually think that if you guys buy an Adventure Sworn knife and you don't have plans for a Kydex sheath or uh, a sheath from a custom maker, that these are excellent options. Uh, and they're very affordable. Buying them along with the knife, I believe, is cheaper than buying them afterwards uh, by maybe about $10, I think. Um, but absolutely phenomenal sheath. Thick leather, heavy construction. Not as thick as uh, something like from One Tree Leather, but definitely very, very good, very high quality stuff. Uh, so let's move on to the fire steel. So this is the matching fire steel for the knife. When Adventure Sworn makes you a matching fire steel, it's always going to match the handle material on the knife. So every single one's going to be different, and this one is squared off. The other one, um, other ones could be rounded, they could be taller, they could be all different shapes and sizes, but they will be there to match the handle material. And there's this piece of shock cord, which I'm not sure if it came with the fire steel or not, again, since I got this used. Um, this fire steel has never been used, and I will not be scraping this fire steel, uh, only because it's so freaking gorgeous, and I plan on passing this knife along to someone else. Um, but we'll get into why later on that. So, uh, my only gripe is I kind of like a four inch fire steel, and this is a shorter one, maybe it's two and a half, maybe it's probably about three inches. Um, I prefer a fire steel that's a little bit longer. So, this would just ride up in here, over and down. Now, onto the knife. What a gorgeous knife. This is their Wayfarer model. It has Adventure Sworn on the spine. Uh, it does not have the steel type. Uh, chances are <clears throat> it's 01 steel. It has um, buffalo horn uh, handle, and I think this is, I'd have to look again, but it looks like a, like a black walnut or walnut um, <clears throat> in 330 seconds. So this is a nice thin knife. Uh, different shape handle. They're not going with the Coke bottle handle on this one. Uh, this reminds me definitely more of a um, Sloyd type knife, not a uh, any kind of bit of Puko, but because of the drop, more of the spear point on there. I'm not going to say drop point, I'm going to say drop point. Um, but because of that, that very pointy tip definitely reminds me more of a Sloyd. Uh, and then you have really nice fit in here in the hand. You have your their, what their kind of thumb scallops are, so you get your thumb on the side of the blade. And then when it sits in with the sheath, it is a very, very deep carry in there. Uh, I would definitely put a lanyard on this to help pull this knife out because it can be a bit awkward at first, especially when it really seats in there. <clears throat> you kind of have to put your thumb there to pull it out. But let's uh let's take this over to the stump and see how it does with some bushcraft tasks okay guys no super scientific stump today um, because this is such a thin knife it's really not meant for heavy heavy use uh, we'll put it through some some of the paces today but it's really not something that you're going to side split with or anything like that um, Batoning for kidling, I could see something maybe like this. But 
because of the thin geometry, well not the thin geometry, because of the thin stop, I'm going much easier on this, but it's not going to split nearly as well because it's so thin. It's definitely more of a carving knife or a uh, like fine detail, kind of like a secondary knife to carry. Um, if you do a lot of carving or if you want something specifically for fire prep, feather sticks, this thing does amazingly well with feather sticks. Now when I got this, I didn't sharpen it. I don't know if it's been sharpened previously. It doesn't look like it's had much maintenance to it. So let's get in here and let's... This thing feathers like a dream. I did one feather stick with this. And it just destroyed the wood that I was using. Let me uh, clean up this edge a little bit. out a little bit, but it's doing really, really nice curls. That thinner geometry, or, uh, not geometry, that thinner blade stock is going to help with cutting, with slicing through here, especially since Scandi's wedge more. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get started on a feather stick because you kind of have to Basically, if the stick has a curve in it, like this one does, this plane has to be the same plane. This has to be flat and straight. Or you're going to be lopping off feathers as you go. There you go. Now, for me, the handle's a bit thin. Um, and the reason why... I'll be passing this on, I'll be selling this knife, is I have another blade on the way that's very, very similar to this, or going to be very similar to this, very similar blade profile with the Coke bottle handle, which I prefer more than this kind of handle. But for wood carving, lighter tasks, this knife is freaking awesome. Now the blade length is about three and three quarter inches, I believe, which is just under four inches. Uh, but this is definitely one of those knives to carry as a secondary carry. This wouldn't be my primary knife, but it's an awesome, awesome blade. You see how wide some of these feathers are coming off here? That's because this blade is lifting up on this entire plane as I go down. Versus having much narrower, narrower feathers. With a little bit less pressure, increase our pressure. not as much weight in this. This is a very light knife, so I can't kind of flick in here to break these feathers off like I can with other knives. But not a bad job for a few minutes. Um, we'll move on and try some other things. Move all that out of the way for my fire later. <coughs> um, so bark removal, fairly easy. As with all Adventure Sworn knives, they're very, very comfortable in all grips. Uh, never really have a problem with that. Uh, but if I want to come in here, I want to notch this out. Bites really well. A little bit thinner spine here digs into your thumb just a little bit more. You can get this tip in here. Get that out. So, and this is, uh, all of this right now is dead maple, so I'm sure if I had something green, which maybe I should have something a little bit more green, this would be a little bit easier for this process. So, this little notch 
pretty well. Uh, let me see if I have something greener that I can use. Got my uh, Silky Ultra XL here. This is pretty dead as well. Uh, turn off that. Let me uh, take off the other end, something a little thicker. Eh, we'll see. Uh, this is sassafras, so it's a little bit uh, softer than maple. As you can see, I'm biting in a lot better. This is still pretty hard. Uh, so let's do a little notch real quick. Let's see if I can do a quick pot hook notch. Right. Now, I, I am hitting this knife not nearly as hard. Uh, I'm kind of babying the, uh, the knife since I do want to sell it. And I'm also worried about how thin it is. Oops. Oh, well, that left a good impression already. I have to reset that. It's a little deeper. There we go. And we're pretty much all the way into that Scandi grind. Let's see if I twist, if I can start popping anything. Not yet. <sighs> I really think any of the stuff that Adventure Sworn makes that's in one eighth uh, is phenomenal, phenomenal material uh, or phenomenal knives. Uh, it that seems to be a sweet point, a sweet spot for bushcraft knives for me. So, and again, we're pretty much that full depth of that Scandi. We have not lifted, so um, those of you that seen the. Um, Adventure Sworn Explorer know that this usually, with the Explorer, you can kind of pop those notches out, but that was a different wood. So, let's go here. Let's move this really quick. So this isn't nearly as deep. I'm not hitting it nearly as hard. But the nice thing is, I can use the tip of this knife, this finer tip, to rock in here really help clean out this notch. And now this is biting pretty, pretty well. So, let's go a little deeper into this. Isn't the best pot hook, but don't really need it right now. It would work. So, tip of that knife to kind of get in there and really clean this out. It's also pretty comfortable in other grips. Um, some carving grips that you'd normally use. So I really don't have any problem with handle comfort. I just like thicker handles. That's why this won't be in my rotation or in my systems. Really, no issues here. Probably be enough for a little bale handle. Um, so. 
yeah, uh, the other grip that's really good, that this, that pretty much all of the, uh, all the knives from Adventure Swarm excel in is, let's get that out of the way, this, this grip, the chest lever, which I'll try to do over here, it won't be on my chest, but you'd be here. All Adventure Swarm knives do this very, very well. Um, the other one, and I'll actually use my knee as an example, is coming here, find a nice spot, and carving towards yourself. This shines for this. This thing is awesome. You get a lot of control out of your blade. You hear the knife slicing in there. I can choke up on this all the way to the tip. Tip in there, but do some work. Stay further back. Just a little bit more awkward. You can definitely get in here. Do a nice bit of fine work. Um, obviously, it's not like I said before. I'm not going to side split with it. I'm not going to be too hard on it. Um, it's not what it's for. Uh, if you want to use it for fire prep, go for it. No problems. It has a nice sharp 90 degree spine. Show that off really quick. Make some fluff. Again, this is dead maple, not the best for fluffing, but it'll do it. Uh, piece of sassafras I have actually might work better. Process off some bark, whatever you might want to do. Finish something up, put a smoother edge on it, or a smoother finish on it. But all in all, fantastic knife. Fantastic sheath. Uh, no quarrels with anything here. Uh, definitely, definitely a great knife. Definitely worth getting a sheath unless if you want a custom sheath, custom maker, or a Kydex for something. If you're a Kydex guy, then get it and go Kydex. Um, if you're a leather guy and you know you have a particular leather maker that you like, go with them. Uh, if not, if you're new to this and you need to, you want to get a bushcraft knife, you want to see what's out there, or this is your first really expensive knife, but you don't know any anybody to really help you out uh, with making leathers, leather or sheets, then get a sheath from Adventure Swarm. Probably always be sold on the secondary market. These are phenomenal sheets, and their warranty service is including the sheets. Um, the fire steels, I read something and I'm not sure about it, but I think if you use up your fire steel, you can actually send it back and they'll, uh, they'll mount a new one in there for you. I'm not sure how they do that uh, or if that's true, but. If it is, that's awesome. Then you pretty much have a warranty on a on a fire steel, so you you don't have to worry about using up your handle. Uh, your handle. You don't have to worry about using up your steel and then having a handle that no longer matches the, the knife. Um, but anyway, go over to Adventure Sworn, check out what they got. Um, they have some stuff available right now on their their knives page. They have sales every now and then, um, and sometimes some pre-orders that come up. Uh, if you like what you saw here and you want to see more please make sure to click like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.